Now we are back at it again. If this is your first time tuning in, this right here is me. My name is Taisha, and we're talking to my grandfather, John Harris. He was born on January 10th, 1938, in Savannah, Georgia. Right. Savannah, Georgia, and um, he's talking about his life and what he had to go through, and sharecropping and everything about that. Um, right now, we just got caught off in the last one. Um, we just got caught from the last one. Um, like he's talking about like my mother. Uh, my aunts, my my two aunts. It was three girls. My aunt Darcel, my mother Darlene, and um, my grandmother. So he's gonna get back to it. So start off the thing like when you talk about like the mule and everything like that. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was a chef rock, and I had to hit like, the mule every day and go out there, and I would work all day long from sun up to sundown. Five days a week, and the man would give me five dollars, and I thought, that, "Oh, thank you, sir, thank you, sir." But see, back then, I took that five dollars and buy more than what you didn't buy the twenty dollars. Now, so like, uh, I had a hard life. I may say, like the white man sent his kids to school. And the back Nero had to have his kid in the field, tending his crop. So that's why the whole lot of the back that don't have education that they have to. But God gives them the will. It gives them a set mind, a set education. That's the same way about me. I don't have the education. But guess what? You know something? In the way, I think. I'm glad I don't. Cause you know why? I wanna live long. Cause see, I would know too much. Either right now, I don't have the education that I want, that I need. But you know something? For the last, what? 50 years, I did all that. I had good people in my life. I had my three daughters with me. I had my family with me. And guess what? And then I had God with me. And guess what? Hey, what can I do? I can't go wrong. You know what I mean? Because, see, my three girls would do anything for me. You know what I mean? And, see, nobody had to tell me that. I'm telling you what I know. And like, uh, what can what can, what can they do? I just love the life, but live it. It went out there, like that. Oh, it's still gone. You know, and see, uh, did that I was telling my granddaughter that to hear, uh, tell her about the hard time. But see, the time that we came up, we had to walk three miles. We get the education, and we didn't have Do you know how far three miles is? Like, like you know in school, like you have to run one mile, one mile, and y'all think, oh my gosh, one mile is a long time. But that's four laps, four laps around a football field equals one mile. So four times three, that equals 12. Yeah, 12. So you have to do 12 laps around the football field to go 12, three miles. And that's what they had to do every day. Every day. Just to get an education. You know, that that go one way. Three miles, one way. <laughs> so actually, 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 you have to do six miles a day. Six miles a day. You have to come home too. You don't have no buses. No, you don't. You don't got no parent pickup. You ain't got none of that. None. None of that. So listen. This is like some crucial stuff right here. And y'all, oh my gosh, you're not going to run them out. These people right here had to freaking walk six miles every day just to get an education. And y'all whining about running a mile in school? Back to Mr. John Harris, my grandfather. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all need to listen. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, Matt Donnan gave you all the, all the, the good short today. Because, see, you go in there, they give you deep the money. But that on the farm, it, well, everybody got the same thing. But God is what you were done. Ah, how 
how you educate the world. It do that in the field. What the end of the day, you got one thing that was the diamond. You know, and you didn't be late in the morning either. You had to catch that mule and be out there at sunup. Cause if you be late two days, the man will get rid of you. Then you come live with your father. They call that you ain't no good. So your people had to go to get you to help you to find you to pray. And you go to your other family high and they live their white man farm. And you ain't wet, then they want to know why. You know? Thing. They let I was telling my granddaughter about my mother. I mean, I went out there and the white people, y'all, she cooking their food and things like that. And she got ready to feed me. She had to call me to the step and give me the plate. And I had to sit there on the step. I can't even sit to the table and eat my food. Yeah. And y'all crying about light today. You kind of made it back then. God knows it went out. You kind of made it back then. You know? And we didn't have the bad tub. We had the water tub. We didn't have the hot water. How do you think that we heated out the water to take the bath? We used to set it in the sun, in the five-gallon barrel out there. And at night we come in, we didn't walk good, we walk out of the feet, under out the arm a bit, you know. They had no deodorant, we used bait the soda. And, but anyway, that what, and then my mother had to do all them white people clothes, had to walk. Line be for the cold, cheap and saying like that. I be the boy out there and make sure that boy pull in the water, we had well water. And then what? He wasn't met. You know? He wasn't met. And that that is like that is my life. That's what I came up under. You know what I mean? We didn't have no show. We eating had to do it. Uh, eating, we had to move. And at that time, we can be moved. In the, in the fall of the year, we can be moved. We ain't got no farm. You had to find that the white man wanted you to fall on his land. And he got somebody over there, then you can't move there. You know, I had to tell somebody today, I would let, hmm. I say I must have been about 17 before I ate out the plate. All I do to eat out is 10 pounds. 10 pounds and ruin the plate. You know what I mean? But we had plenty of food, but that same way by pork. You know, my father used to kill nine hogs a year, and we had crap then, we had. Not fat back, but we had baked it, neck boom, pig feet and liver, liver whip and things like that. And same way the people are here, they, the most the people come to hear something about, oh man, I don't want no pork, pork is bad. I just raised up on pork. That all we had, we didn't get no beef. You know, all we had was pork. You know, every day, three times a day. Yeah. And like, uh, he, he just, he just was bad. He just was bad. But let thank God, I finally made it over. And that same way, sometimes I look at my daughter, and you know, I'm the bold, I'm the independent man now. I've been independent, but I'm the independent man. I like for people and children telling me, at me. It takes a little time and at me sometimes until they say, well, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. That makes me think that what the white man did. The white